Let's get into some news, though. Thank you. First topic. Did Gucci man lie about killing Pookie Lo? Deb Anthony, who was famously known for being Waka Flocka's mom and managing many artists such as Gucci Man, in an interview claims that Gucci lied about killing Pookie Lo. And it was all for entertainment. This is wild. Wow. Gucci Man's going through it this week, huh? But Waka Flocka's mom has had a lot of, you know, allegations thrown against her for being like a shady business manager and all this stuff. She had a lot of artists at the time. Yeah. So let's stop talking about that now. Because all these kids think that you're the number one killer. And let's don't talk about it no more. Because now you're a dad. You got you got yeah. two sons. Yeah. Um, I think she's still because her and Gucci Man were feuding because Gucci Man was uh um he, he I think Waka Slaka's mom was like helping with the managerial side of things at one point and he I think Gucci got upset at her and they have like some sort of ongoing beef. So I I'm not surprised she's saying she used such to a have thing. Nicki Minaj too. She had Gucci and Nicki at the same time. I want to say French too. I could be wrong. Wow. I think she had all all three of them. Man, when you I do know they have beef the, though. They're like bitter, he's bitter towards think, her. So they think Waka Flocka has to like beef with Gucci Man and everybody his mom has bad business with. Nigga, they of, already had. Well, I mean, I think Waka's like past all of that. Yeah. But yeah, they they had problems before. No, no, what I'm saying. Okay, so let's just say Nicki and and his mom fell off. Like, like, it's and they start beefing. Yeah, the Flocka got to start beefing it with Nikki too. Nigga, or if somebody like a start, business. If somebody start beefing with your mom, it's, you got to go with your mom, right? He nah, did, but it's a business. I've seen him. Yeah, de- he, it's he, a business. He defends his mom. I, I I forgot who it was, but someone was like saying that like, she stole a bunch of money, didn't pay them correctly, blah blah. And then Flock of uh, uh, Walk Flocka was like, "Fuck no, not my mom." He like was defending his mom, saying she wouldn't, she didn't do that. And you're the idiot. You fucked up all that stuff. So I feel like he will defend her because it's his mom, obviously. And she probably made him a lot of money. <laughs> or either that or just, you know, stay out of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you guys, okay, but do you guys think she's being bitter right now? Or you think this is there's some truth behind this? We don't know. I don't, it's a, I don't, it's a the, wobbler for real. But you want to know what the thing is? Is like, I'm not taking this as she got beef with him and she's saying that. She's just like, hey, you got kids now. Stop telling these people that you did something you didn't do, mm. if that's the truth. or like, Because the mythos of it is... Gucci, you know, I always thought Gucci, you know, did his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Which was a big part of Gucci's blow up as well. You know, he's already a big artist, but that definitely fucking trajectory to everything. He had, crazy. he had a song, go dig your partner up, nigga, bad. He can't say shit. And if you're looking for the kid, I'll be in zone six. Like, yeah, all of that made Gucci like, okay, he ain't to be fucked with. I kind of understand the argument that, like, okay, he's a father now and a, a father of two kids. Like, flexing that you got a body at an elderly age like that. Not say he's elderly, but, like, when you're supposed to be more mature, it's kind of like, all right, dude, you got nothing better to do in your life? Like, flexing bodies to your two kids? It's like, don't talk about it anymore if that's what you did. Right? And, Josh, is there I- any way? Because I think he went he um went to court for this. Right. Right. That's the part I don't understand either. Yeah. Yeah, he did, actually, right? Right. Like, he... There was a an investigation, like he had to beat murder, basically. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. There's so, a whole right. So did, did they? Un- so if he so called didn't do it, why would you why- go through that whole process for entertainment and risk going to jail? No, no. Why would the, why would you even be in the court? Did someone fall? I was like, down goes Vashta. <laughs> um, shit. I don't know. Can dude. you can you uh, look that up, Josh? Right. I want to know because I'm like. What was the charges back then? I it remember was, he was uh, he was um, fighting murder, like he was potentially going to get a lot of time, but it was self defense, so he got out. You know what I mean? So why, yeah, why would his mom be? Why would um, Waka Flocka's mom be saying this? It's kind of strange. It, I'm telling you, from my perspective, it seems like she's a little bit upset at him and just wants to uh, downplay his things. Gucci would be arrested and charged with Pookie Loke's murder, but the charges were ultimately dropped due to lack of evidence. Mm-hmm. He definitely did it. <laughs> Shit, dude! A lack of evidence. Wasn't so the he... charges were dropped for this, and they just didn't pursue it. Exactly. And then, and then, and then, mm-hmm. Josh would have, um, Josh, even like with murders and stuff like that, does does he still give you like a whole year to bring up the case back? When if not, it goes to like shambles and shit. Like it disappears, or no, it doesn't work like that with murder. Because I know with some cases, like if they don't pick it up, if the DA don't pick it up within a year, they get dropped or they get dismissed. Is it, is, is it the same thing with murder or no, Josh? Or like in Georgia, I'm saying it like. In California, it's like that, but it's like, is it like that in Georgia? Uh, or with a serious crime like murder? I mean, they got real, they got like, they got great gun laws in Georgia. 
No, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, though, even though they were trying to prosecute him and the lack of evidence didn't allow them to prosecute him, is he allowed to be like, man, you know what? Fuck it, we can't even pick it up no more because it's been over a year and we didn't find the evidence we needed. It's been over 10 years, I think. No, no, no. No, I'm just saying, yeah, like, he's just I'm saying, saying at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's... it's, uh, it's so there's no statute of limitations. Okay, so that's what... it can what go I'm... on forever. Exactly. Oh, shit. With murder, it's like there's no yeah. statute of limitations. I didn't think there was. Anywhere? I don't mm, think anywhere, right? Nah, but it, it depends on the state. I'm and reading the Georgia sometimes. right now. Oh, you're reading Georgia? I think I think in certain places, a prosecutor might have ten years to file most felony charges, but only one year to file misdemeanor charges. Violent hmm. crimes generally have longer statutes of limitations, such as crimes like murder or child rape. The you know, those have no statutes. Yeah. So a murder, right? Just because he wasn't charged at that point doesn't mean technically they couldn't, but. Ultimately, I think they probably just dropped it because they threw it up to self defense and didn't mm -hmm. want to prosecute. Mm -hmm. him okay. Yeah, either. the idea of not there not being enough evidence is crazy to me because but, he was basically like kidnapped and fucking fought his kidnappers well, and killed back, one of them. Back then, it was said that a certain rapper sent, you know, him to go to Gucci's house. Yeah. And then he ended up dead. I think it, it wasn't just him, I think it was two people. Yeah, it was like two or three people. Two or three people. One of them somebody died. else got shot, and uh -huh. I think he died. So, yeah. But even like when they did the verses, he was like, you know, oh, I put that nigga in the dirt. You mm -hmm. remember Gucci was saying that shit? Yeah. It's he like, wow, they want of shit. For I mean, one. listen, if you didn't do that, I, I don't, I got a hard time believing that you're gonna be running with this for this long. But also, bro, and even saying that on the shit. But also, Josh, can you? Get prosecuted. Okay, so let's say. But he wasn't saying, kidnapped. Okay, okay, okay. But let's say he was, um, like kidnapped or it was self defense. Does the credibility stand in like in a rapper's aspect to where you're like, I put him in the dirt because of the circumstances yeah, of yeah. how he was basically being kidnapped, yeah, tied down, and they're gonna do? they're gonna torture and kill him, and he got his way out and murdered them. Yeah. I'm gonna be so bitter and mad at this person that I probably would do the same thing Gucci did. Gucci did. Talk shit about why the guy. ID? <laughs> well, um, because well, he, because no, that's what he said. Um, but I would do the same thing Gucci did, which is like continue talking shit about the dude who tried to fucking kill me, and I got away with killing him. It's but like, honest, but honestly, honestly though, like even if you didn't do it, if it happened on behalf of you, I mean, nigga's still gonna be like, damn, like his, it, nigga, his camp did it or he did it. You feel yeah. me? <clears throat> So what about somebody like the baby, like where he has multiple situations where he has had to def defend himself? If he were to make a song about killing the person he killed at Walmart, would you guys be like, bro, it was self-defense or nah, bro, committed the murder? Like on some gangster shit. I mean, well, you seen the video. Yeah, it was pretty cut and dry. But you're right, he hasn't really, has he made a song about that? I probably, probably hasn't because it was like, I mean, you don't want to, I mean, certain rappers aren't going to brag, but he was in a feud with whoever... Pookie Lug was was associated with. He was yeah, in, a, exactly. in an ongoing war, so he basically <laughs> he was, was he was him and Jeezy yeah. had beef back then. Yeah, and Pookie Lug had so he was shitting on the whole other side. I mean, if it was okay to brag, the baby situation was a little different. But that's though. why a lot of people got mad that Jeezy even did the um, verses with Gucci over that. You people on whose side? Uh, Jeezy's or people were or mad Gucci. about that. Uh, I think on Jeezy's side because they're like, you're not. They're you're, like, nigga, that's your homie. Yeah, it's your homie. Now you're doing this for yeah. money. Damn, that was a whole on war. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I wasn't too in, too in tune into hip hop, and I was hella young. But bro, imagine somebody like making a whole diss song, shitting on your homie, and then you go ten years later, you kind of forgive it. If you sent me to go attack someone for you, and they took my life, and then ten years later you're fucking having some drinks with this dude at a party, I'm gonna be some Ciroc. I'm, that's what I'm that's, gonna be rolling in my that's, grave. That's bro. crazy. <laughs> no, that's definitely crazy. Yeah. Nah, but you know, even with that, like. Then too, it's a it's also a good thing that you know, two grown men got on stage and did that. Even though Gucci took it took it to another level, it was good for hip hop to see them two get on stage together without it being any problems after the beef for so long. Yeah. That is true. That is true. But it's still hella crazy. That was super crazy. But that just shows like how mature Jeezy is at, at this point now. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like. Cause they were young at that time. They were hella young. They were like, like I don't know, early twenties, probably closer to the thirties. But they were still. They were like, hella young with money and a exactly. in a crazy time. Was twenty years ago. Almost. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, they were very. And young. then the end. It was so icy. Like I remember, so icy came out. That song was huge. That was twenty years ago. Like early two thousands. Oh 
all these yeah. things. I was like yeah. four, dick. Bro. Ooh, <laughs> like, I'm so high. But I do remember, like, my homies, 